In today's video, we brought you guys some interesting and practical Unreal Engine 5 courses. These will cover environment creation, lighting, decal for games, and much more. Without further ado, let's jump right in. So, as you may know, lighting is a crucial step in any 3D project, and it can make or break your renders because good lighting can make an average scene look great and bad lighting can make an amazing scene look terrible. Therefore, you always need to pay close attention when lighting your 3D scenes, and you need to always be updated with the latest new technologies and always use the best tools such as Lumen in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to level up your lighting game, I recommend you check out this amazing course that will show you everything you need to know about lighting with Lumen and Unreal Engine 5. You will see both lighting methods, which are ray tracing and global illumination, as well as the basics of lighting and complex concepts of what makes great lighting, such as camera and exposure theory. The course contains over 17 hours of content, but it will be a step-by-step -step guide, meaning you can follow along with each step. You will first learn the basics and fundamentals, and then you'll move to creating some assets and lighting them, such as vehicles, nature, cars, as well as characters, and you finish up by learning how to light a big open world scene, including a nice and cozy dinner interior where you're gonna explore different lighting scenarios. The course also includes a prop presentation section that will help environment or prop artists level up their skills. Most importantly, it is also a beginner friendly, meaning even beginners to Unreal Engine 5 can follow along and learn a lot. The next one is about creating custom decals for video games. This one is an in-depth course that will show you everything about the workflow of creating custom decals for games. But before talking about the course itself, let's first explain the term decals for those who don't know what the hell this is. Well, decals are simply materials projected onto existing surfaces. They can be placed by the level artists, and they can also be generated by the engine for both impact, blood, and other effects. Generally speaking, you can do various stuff with the decals, and they will help you in creating more detailed looking objects without having a high poly count that can slow down your video game performance. It is also a great and effective technique that will save you a lot of time and effort, especially when it comes to making game environments. Anyways, in this training, the instructor will teach you a variety of methods that can be applied in video game engines. In this case, it's gonna be Unreal. And in this one, you will learn how to create everything from procedural decals to hand-painted to sculpted normal maps only, image-based decals, and much more. You will be using five software during the course, which are Unreal Engine 5, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, ZBrush, Marmoset Toolbag, and Photoshop. This training will spend over 5 hours, but it is designed for students who already have some experience using Unreal and Substance, so if you haven't tried this software before, we recommend to watch beginner tutorials to get a solid understanding before jumping into this one. Moving on, the next one will teach you how to quickly make large-scale environments in Unreal Engine 5 using third-party assets and kit bashing. If you want to learn something about creating environments then, Kit bashing can be really helpful to speed up your environment creation process because you don't have to model every part yourself which essentially takes a lot of time and effort and makes it unnecessarily long and arduous when making a large-scale environment. However, you can just randomly import objects and then randomly place them together. No, that's not how we do kit bashing here. Or at least it's not how kit bashing works. Rather, it is a deliberate technique that you need to pay close attention to. So in this course, you will learn almost everything about this technique, which isn't hard to learn by the way. You just have to follow along with the steps of the instructor and you will get the gist of it. The span of this training is over 7 hours of video content, which makes it a perfect fit for artists who have been familiar with Unreal Engine 5 basic tools and every step will be explained in detail. You're gonna see where to find assets and references, how to create a custom landscape using Word Creator, and how to place various large-scale assets while keeping in mind storytelling and composition. Still with environment art, but this one is dedicated to creating interior environments which are used in video games. So making game environments is way different than making environments for animation or VFX projects for example. That's because game engines require stuff that have to be met in the environment itself so that the engine can run it and render it without any issues. 
This training will show you every step of the workflow in detail. It is kind of a long one, because it spans over 44 hours of video content. You will need to use different software, such as Maya, Speedtree, Unreal Engine 5, Substance Designer, and Painter, in addition to Photoshop, ZBrush, Marvelous Designer, and Marmosa Toolback. If you noticed, some of these courses have different software, which is exactly what you will need in the industry when working in a real game studio in a professional setting. These are industry standard software, and the more you learn them, the better you'll be off, especially if you get a job in the industry. By the end of this class, you will see how to achieve a great looking environment with all the knowledge that you will learn and the experience that you will have, which by the way, you can apply on other projects of your own. Now we're gonna jump to a specific part of creating environments, which is foliage. In this one, you will go through how to professionally make easy and efficient foliage for games using different techniques in Unreal Engine 5. You will basically learn how to make several kinds of foliage, such as trees, brushes, bushes, ivy, grass, and plants, as well as how to make leaf and branch textures and set up vegetation in your environment. This training spans over 11 hours, which means you're gonna learn a lot of stuff. The next one is about creating an example, I mean a practical example of creating environments in Unreal Engine 5, which is about how to create a metro train interior in Unreal Engine 5. First of all, you will learn many and different techniques such as high poly modeling, how to use Unreal Engine 5's Nanite, procedural and unique texturing, level art, lighting and post effects by using the new Lumen system, as well as how to create advertisements and many more stuff. This course spends over 18 hours of video content, and although it is simple, you will need to be familiar with 3D modeling, I mean tools like Maya and Unreal Engine 5. Last but not least, this one is about how to create large-scale environments that can be used in video games using Unreal Engine 5 and some other software. This one is a bit different from the others because it is a little bit long and covers basically everything you will need to know about environment creation. You will see and use different techniques like modular modeling, procedural texturing, high to low poly modeling, sculpting, composition, level art and lighting, etc. And the modeling will be done in Maya, with sculpting being done using ZBrush and the materials will be created using Substance Designer and previewed in Marmoset Toolback 4. And you will assemble everything and finish the environment building using Unreal Engine 5 of course. Additionally, you will also use Lumen to light your scene. And this one will spend over 33 hours of good stuff. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links about these courses in the description down below. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also take a look at some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.